everyone welcome to crochet craft in this video I am going to share with you how to join this giraffe step by step I hope you will love this video if you like this video please thumbs up and share and comment down below when you finish this giraffe don't forget to share with me in our Facebook group I give a link in the description down below if you new for my channel don't forget to join with my thousand of subscribers by clicking this subscribe button and the bell icon okay in my previous video I show how to make this giraffe body and the two arms and two legs with the head and eyes and two corn and the two ears with the tail and the spot if you missed that I give a link in the description down below now I'm going to show you how to join these two legs for the body this side is going to the back side this two leg is going to like this V shape. I'm gonna skip first five round. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna join this leg with the round six. It's going like this. Skip five round into the round six. I'm using pen to mark this leg size it's easy to join then you can use the same color pen I'm using a little bit dark color to showing you this the size for the leg this circle is going inside to stitch I'm using same yarn tail to join this leg for the body When you draw the circle like this, it's really easy to join this leg for the body. Make sure this pen line need to go inside. You will see. I'm using little this stitch. I'm not going to tie this stitch. This circle is going to the inside. This the circle is marked. I'm using back side single crochet for this circle. This circle line needs to go inside. Then you can get the beautiful finishing. I'm using loose stitch. You can tie it when you finish the all stitch. I'm going to show you how to tie this stitch. You can pull this yarn. Or you can use the needle to tie it like this. Use the same stitch around to this circle. You can tie it when you finish this all round to this circle with this stitch. Follow this pattern all around to this circle. Now I'm nearly finished this same is stitch with the around to this leg I'm using not to tie this I'm using knot in here before we hide the yarn we have to make the knot you can see it's coming beautiful finishing If you want, you can use the two knot. I'm using one in here. Another one into this single crochet. Or oh, this one. Like this. Next, I'm going to hide this yarn. Now I finished one leg. It's coming like this. Next one is 
going to this side. I'm using the same yarn tail to join this leg. You can see in this leg have a little space. This round six and the last round, round six have one, two, three, four, five. Is keep five single crochet on the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is keep ten single crochet. Then it's coming like a V shape. Is keep five single crochet. Then it's coming into here and a top. Ten single crochet. Make sure you have to. Put this leg shape on the top. If you want, you can use the pen to draw the circle. Skip five and this side five into six. I'm using same color pen to make a little draw the little circle. Make sure this circle need to go inside the this stitch. Use the same stitch same as the other leg. From now please follow this video. Now I'm finished adding this two leg for the body. It's coming like this. This back side is going to the down. You can see in here. This open is coming around 6 inches or 15 centimeter. The same size 15 centimeter. Don't worry about this, this is not falling because we are going to add the tail for the back side like this. Next I am going to show you how to add the arm for this giraffe. I am going to add in here for this side. I'm using this same yarn tail to join the this arm for the body. This two arm is coming is keep first six round for the top. Skip one, two, three, four, five, six into this six into the next six round i'm using next six round to join this arm this six round is going to the neck and this arm is going one two three four five six using next six round this 
this is the shape for the arm before you join this arm for the body you can use the pin or safety pin to keep like this it's come a little bit angle like like this it's coming same line with the leg and little bit angle for the back side you can use the safety pin or pin it's really easy when you use the safety pin I'm going to show you how to use the pin like this skip first six round next use the next six round when you use the safety pin you can adjust this arm and make the stitch this two arm is coming like this skip first six round you can see when you use the safety pin you can adjust this arm use the small stitch to join this arm for the body let's see how to join this arm Next, I'm using a small stitch to join this arm for the body. From now, please follow this video. Now I finish this top stitch. Next, I'm gonna make the down. Then I'm gonna remove this safety pin. Next, I'm using a stitch for under this arm. From now, please follow this video. Now I finished one arm, next one is coming, you can see in here, here I have a, skip 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 single crochet, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 single crochet, next one is coming to the other side. I'm going to show you how to tie this knot. I'm using like this you can use the two knot if you want and hide the yarn tail now I'm finished one arm next one is coming same way skip this here to here seven single crochet next one is coming like same way now I'm finished this both arm
this two arm is going to the inside like this. You can make this shape, this two going to the inside the leg like this. Next I am going to show you how to join the tail for this body. We skip 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 round. We skip 8 round and tail is going to the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 into the 9. This tail is going into 9 and 10 using 9 and round 10. I am using the same yarn tail. Skip 8 into the 9 and 10. You can join this tail. You can use a small stitch around to this tail. Now I finished joining this tail for the body. I am hiding this yarn tail and cut this yarn to closer. Now I finished body. Two arms and with the two legs and a tail. This is the all we need for the body. Next we need to add this head for the body. Before I add the head, I am going to join this head to two ears. You know how to make this perfect eyes for the face. I am going to add this two ears. This corner bit is going to close these two eyes like this. You can use the pin. To join like this. It's another one. Then your little one can play with these two ears with this giraffe like this. Here to here, we need to skip single crochet. Let's see how many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 single crochet. We have to skip 14 single crochet. I'm going to join with one here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This 2 is coming like this. Use the smallest stitch to join these 2 ears. From now, please follow this video.
Now you know how to add the ears for the head. Use the knot to tie this yarn. Add the same way for these ears. Here to here, you have to skip 14 single crochet. Now I'm finished adding this both ears. It's coming look like this. I'm going to cut this yarn to closer. Before we add the cone for this head, I'm going to add this head for the body. Next, I'm going to show you how to add this head for the body. This bit is going to the neck. You can use the finger to make a shape like this. I'm using this yarn tail to join this head for the body. I'm gonna make two round around to this neck. This head is coming like this. This bit for the front side. This decrease stitch is going to the back side. Like this. First round I'm gonna make with the small loose stitch. You can use pin like this but it's not worth using pin it's good to use your hand to tie this body and a head like this you see another hand like this hold like this head and body together use the small stitch I'm using loose stitch around this neck I'm gonna make two round First round, I'm gonna add this body for the face. Next round, I'm gonna give you this nice finishing for this giraffe. First round, you can go like this loose stitch. You know how to tie this loose stitch now. When you use the loose stitch, when you get any mistake, you can remove this stitch. You can tie this stitch like this. Make around to this next small stitch. I'm going to show you next how to make the second round. Now I'm finished first round. I'm gonna make one more round using this stitch to get the nice finishing for this giraffe. From now, please follow this video. Now I'm finished second round as well. I'm gonna cut this yarn to closer. You can see I'm finished adding this head for the body. You can pull this head to up little bit then you can get the nice finishing for this giraffe like this. Next I'm gonna add this two cone for the head. This two is going to this top like this. If you want you can add a little bit front or if you want you can add a little bit back to these ears like here or here. I'm gonna add a little bit front because I'm gonna add the bow for this cone. I'm using the same yarn tail to join this cone for the head. You can use same way to join this 
horn for the head using a small stitch with the loose. When you get in a mistake, I'm going to show you how to remove this stitch. Like this, you can go around to this. When you get the mistake, you can remove this stitch like this. Now you know how to add the cone for this top. You can go around to this small stitch, add this both cone for this top. Now I finish adding this both cone for the head. This one I add a little bit front and this one I add a little bit back for e with the ears. This one I am going to use the bow for this cone top. Next I am going to cut this yarn to closer. Now I am finished adding this all part for this giraffe. Next I am going to show you how to add this spot for the, this giraffe. This is the small circle with the two round. This two round with the we need four circle. This back side I am adding for this giraffe and this one too I am going to add the, this side, right side. This one is going ear to eyes in the middle. I am going to show you how to add this spot for the face. This small four going to head. Use the small stitch around to this circle. This is the first circle for this head. You can use the same stitch around to this circle. This is the one. Second one is going to this side and third and fourth. Two for the back side, two for the front side. You can see this is the one, two, three, four. Four small one. This is the bigger size one with the three round. One, two, third one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here one. And this one in the third, you have to add the half for the out and third one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can add the big ten circle for the body. Next, I'm going to show you how to add the hair for this giraffe. I am using this four finger size like this much. This much enough for this hair. I am using two yarn together. Start with this middle to down like next to the arm. I'm going to show you one more. Use the two yarn together. And make a loop, go through this single crochet, pull this yarn and go through this loop and tie this yarn like this. You can add hair here to all the way to down middle of this body. Now I finished adding this all hair for this giraffe. I'm going to show you one more time. Put this two yarn together. Make a loop. Go through this single crochet. Pull this yarn. 
pull this yarn go through this loop and pull this both yarn and tie it. I'm use this old yarn with this circle yarn tail this brown circle yarn tail next you can give a haircut for this giraffe you can see he have a lot short hair you can cut this much not too closer you can give another haircut and cut this old hair same size now I give already short haircut next I'm gonna brush this old hair like this we need fluffy hair then it's not come out this yarn you can comb like this all hair or you can use the finger like this after that you can give a one other hair cut for this all now I'll comb in this all hair Next, I'm going to cut this extra bit. Then you can get the beautiful finishing for this giraffe. Now this yarn is not come out. Next, I'm going to show you how to make the fluffy tail for this giraffe. You can use the velcro to make this fluffy horn and the tail. I'm going to show you how to make this fluffy tail. You can use the velcro or you can use the like this, not the soft bit in this raft bit use like this to make do this all around this tail only for the brown bit now you can see it's so fluffy now you can cut this extra bit Make this all together and twist in the corner. Cut this extra. Now you can get the beautiful finishing for this tail. If you want, you can do the same for this cone. I'm doing only for this tail. This four is going to the two four face, two for the back side, and big 10 is going to one for the neck one for this under this arm when you close this arm we need to half for outside one for the here three four five six seven eight nine ten that's how is this 10 is coming next i'm going to add the two bow for this two giraffe i'm using this bow with the 12 chain and a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 rows 12 chain with the 7 rows in middle is going with the wrap this yarn around to this bow and this pink one is going to this horn this pink one you can make for the baby girl if you want to make the baby boy you can add the blue bow this one uh, maybe the 12 chain with the 7 rows is gonna add for the neck if you want you can use the without bow when you finish this giraffe don't forget to share with me in our facebook group i give you a link in the description down below i hope you will love this video if you like this video please thumbs up and share and comment down below see you again with another video